this tutorial is going to be about the most common way of solving quadratic equations. And what am I talking about? I am talking about the ABC and the PQ formula. And I will talk about both, show you both, and also tell you the main difference of uh, both formulas and which one I preferably use during my time in high school or in general for calculations. So to kick things off, we will start with the ABC formula first. Why is it called ABC formula? Basically because it is dealing with functions that have a normal form. So functions that look something like that. We have a times x squared plus bx plus c and we are putting it equal to zero. And how does the ABC formula actually look like? So we have x and in most of the times we are looking for, for two roots if we are putting it equal to zero because we assume that it is a function of degree 2 because the highest exponent is 2. So we will start off, first of all you write it as a fraction and then you will have minus b, so the b is then the coefficient in front of x, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c and then we divide this whole thing by 2 times a and I mean that's pretty much it. The logic behind the PQ or the ABC formula is a bit more difficult I mean but what you can assume or what you can actually what it is about it's basically about rewriting the whole function in order to solve it for x. That means if we would do a massive amount of simplifications if we would rewrite the function we would then in the end come up with something like that. So, and as you can take from numbers that I included that were not before, this is quite difficult in order to cover it in one video. So we will just stick to how it actually works. So that means if we have a function of, let's say, we take this function that we have on the right, 2x squared plus 8x plus 4, and we have equal to zero. So then we would look like what do we have? So two is a, a is b, and okay, four is c. That means we start off with b, so we have minus eight plus minus the square root of eight squared minus four times two times four, and then the whole thing divided by 2 times, in our case, 2. So, we, what we can assume is that this root is positive. And there is also an additional rule that is also for the ABC and the PQ formula that I will state now, especially concerning the square root. So, if the square root positive, we will always have two solutions, or in other words two roots. If the square root is zero, then we will have one solution, and if the square root is negative, we won't have any solution. Which makes completely intuitive sense because as I've already mentioned in the video about square roots, if your square root is negative, so like let's say if this calculation here would result in a negative outcome, the square root does not work mathematically. And as you can see now from my example and from the extra rule that I that I've written now, Basically, the ABC formula is plug and play. However, functions do not always look like this, so they don't have always this normal form. Functions also sometimes look like that, so that they don't have a coefficient in front of every variable. So that means they can look like x squared plus p times x plus q. And obviously, this is also set equal to zero for calculation on. 
and the PQ formula basically works pretty much the same as the ABC formula so it's again plugging numbers into it however we are still going through it so we have minus P half plus or minus again because obviously we are also looking again for a positive rule with two solutions although we cannot always achieve that depending on the numbers that we have so as I already started so P half plus minus the square root of P half squared minus Q and that's that's pretty much it however as I already said in the beginning I'm going to tell you which one I use the most and I use the most the PQ formula number one reason was basically because that was the first formula that was introduced to me so for simplicity that was like the formula that I was used to and the actual calculation that you need to do in order to use that is not that complicated it's actually really not that complicated so as I've already worked on the example before so we have an example of a function in a normal form and with the ABC formula it was just plug and play however if we want to use standard PQ formula the actual form looks a bit different it's not huge difference but you need to do a little revision so as you can see we have 2x squared plus 8x plus 4 equal to 0 and as you can take from the general form we don't have any or we are not allowed to have any coefficients in front of the x squared so because we know what to do in those kind of situations we know directly that we need to simplify the function so what we do is we simplify by reducing the whole thing by 2 and with that what are we able to achieve we are able to rewrite the function so 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we will have x squared in the beginning 8 divided by 2 is 4x and 2 divided by 2 is 2 equal to 0 divided by 2, 0 divided by anything is always 0 and then we basically just have our form that we also need for the PQ formula and now it's as the ABC formula just plugging it in plugging the numbers into the formula and doing the calculation so let's do this example now together how the actual function would look like under the PQ formula so we would have a minus and then 4 divided by 2 plus minus 4 over 2 squared minus and then for the Q we have a 2 in the end and that's about it so again just to clarify things as we did also before with the ABC formula 4 in this case would be our P and 2 would be our Q. No, this looks pretty much like an A. So 2 would be our Q. That's pretty much how you then use the PQ formula. And as I already stated now, by explaining those two, the main difference is basically you're using the general form of functions with the ABC formula and you use a simplified function, so the PQ function as you would say now, uh, for the PQ formula. However, which one you use is completely up to you. As I already said, I started with the PQ formula and was used to it. If your teachers teach you the ABC formula, then you'll most probably be used to the ABC formula and will most probably stick to it in most of the calculations that you're doing. So, I mean, the, the difference is not that huge and in the end it's just that you learn how to execute the functions and the formulas that makes actually the difference and whether you use them appropriately or not. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Um, other than that, subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media uh, for updates on the videos and also if you have specific questions on mathematical problems, maybe tips 
or tricks for learning, um, then either send me a message through social media or comment down below. And I hope you will be here for my next video as well. Thank <laughs> you.